As we sat here this time last year, uh, we didn't really know what to expect, uh, and you guys didn't either, because we were all new to each other. Uh, but we always talk about, within our program, when you're about to take a big step, you must pause and take a look back. That's the first thing you do. Uh, what got you here? What experiences have developed you and matured you? Uh, but then, because you need to understand where you are and how you got there in order to know what to do and how to take the next step. So that's where we are right now, and we're about to take a big step within, the, uh, within our second year in the league. Uh, we're fired up about being in the Southland Conference. Uh, we feel like we belong. Uh, we feel like we had a uh, very competitive year. We we're obviously not satisfied with it. I don't think anybody uh, that this ever sits up here throughout the day is going to be satisfied with four and four in the league. But uh, we had a couple of big wins, and uh, we're, we're, we're pumped about being in the league. We've, we feel like we even uh, bring value, bring more value to the league. So uh, thanks for letting us. Okay, Parker, would you like to give some comments about the upcoming season? Uh, just building off what Coach Collins said, we're in our second year, and we're really excited about it. We've been working hard all summer. Uh, we're getting our routes in, we're getting our uh, defensive drills in, we're getting it all done. And we're just ready to build up a new year and have a better record this year. DeAndre, your turn up. Uh, what's your thoughts for the upcoming season? Uh, yeah, just to go off of what those two said, um, this year I think um, – our team is very excited. I think this year it, we're working even harder in the summer just because we know what we're getting into now. We know that we can um, we can compete into the league that we're in, and I think that just brings a certain edge to the team. And uh, this summer, um, all summer, we've been working hard. We've been uh, thinking about the upcoming season, and we're just excited to get, get it started. Okay, as a reminder, there are some wireless microphones on the floor, so if you have a question, please raise your hand and uh, identify yourself and your news organization. Hey, Coach, Kevin Gore from Nacogdoches Daily. Uh, Y'all had some big wins in the league. Uh, just talk about how big it was to win those league games, and they were against some, you know, quality teams. You know, you beat Stephen F. and and uh, I think Central Arkansas. So, just uh, I guess the first year in the league, that was big for you guys, and maybe you can just talk about that. It was huge. Uh, you know, everybody when every game is big in this league, and we tell our guys all the time that that if you're not ready, you're going to get your tails outplayed. And I tell our coaches, and I'm reminded every day when I'm going throughout the day, you better be right in your, you, or, you, or you're going to get your tail out coached every single weekend. And there, there are really good players in this league, there are really good coaches in this league. Uh, and you can want to all you want as far as winning those big games, but sooner or later you got to do it. And we just happened to get a couple of big wins uh, in, our, in our first year in the league. And that really, it's it solidified in our minds. You know, we've been playing good football at ACU for a long time. We've been, we've been protecting the ball, uh, playing clean for a long, long time. But when you do it against some of the upper, upper tier teams in the Southland Conference, uh, that gives you a little bit more credibility. And when you go back in that locker room, everybody knows, hey, you know what, we're going to be okay. We're going to be just fine. We've just got to keep chipping away, keep growing our football company the right way. and, and uh, and our product on the field is, is going to continue to get better. But those, you know, you got to have those uh, significant wins. And, you know, beating Stephen F. in Nacogdoches was, I mean, it was huge for our guys. And, and it, was a, it was a great game. As a coach, it was fun to watch. And as I know as a fan, it probably was. So uh, we, were, we were grateful to get those wins. Coach Alex Hickey, Lake Charles American Press. Um, you guys put eight on the preseason all-conference team. That's uh, tied for the second most. Just to get that, I guess, instant respect from your peers, how gratifying is that as, as a coach that's new to this league, albeit not to the, uh, the game as a whole? Sure. It is uh, – it just it, – it, it affirms us in what we're doing and it affirm, affirms our guys. Uh, you know, but the whole preseason deal, it doesn't mean much. It's a pat on the back, which 
we all know that, that that's probably not going to get you very far on a Saturday afternoon. So uh, we are grateful uh, that we're recognized, uh, that, that, our, that our players are recognized, and because uh, we've got some good ones. I mean, DeAndre, he averaged seven yards a carry. Every time he touched the ball on, on a rushing play, he just averaged seven yards. That's, that's second in the country at, at our level, and it is, I'm pretty sure it's the first there, it's the it's the most by any running back in the entire country. I mean, that's good. I mean, he, he should get recognized. But DeAndre will tell you, he'll be the first one to tell you that, you know, that's pretty cool, but let's go out and win games. So uh, we're, we're grateful for the uh, recognition, but, uh, you know, we've got to, we've got to, you know, put that on the field and, and win more games. A big thing that we did not do last year is finish games. Uh, you know, it, it's it's cool to play good for three quarters, but you you better finish games. And because everybody that we line up against is they're gonna they're gonna be trying to do the same thing, which is close out a game. When you have the lead, you close it out. Um, the big thing, you know, people look at winning at home. You got to do the bottom line is to me, you got to play clean. It doesn't matter whether we're going to get the same blitzes from Stephen F. Austin, whether we're in Abilene or Nacogdoches, they're going to, they're going to try to come hit Parker. And, and we're going to face the same D-line stunts against Sam wherever we play him. So you better, you better be prepared. You better play clean. Uh, we, take, we take pride in, in playing clean football. Uh, for example, we, we protect, I think we're one of the best teams in the country at protecting the ball. Uh, over, even over the last 10 years, we are plus 104 in turnover margin. That's so, it's not just, hey, all of a sudden, guys, hey, we need to start protecting the ball. It's, you know what, that's just part of our culture. We're going we're gonna to protect the ball. Uh, last year, we were, uh, we were best in the league at uh, pre-snap discipline penalties, which is, you know, if you're going to win big games, you, you can't mess it up. On the front end, you can't, you, you can't screw the thing up and go backwards. So... Uh, Pre-snap discipline fouls like uh, you know false starts, defensive offsides. We're very clean in that, so that gives us a chance to win. Uh, so we're going to keep doing that. But the bottom line is, you got to finish. You got to finish games. And a lot of times, when you look back as a as a as a program that's that's growing, a lot of that has to do with depth. You got to develop depth in order to finish games, and we're in the process of doing that. Parker and DeAndre, what differences did you guys notice on the field playing in a new league and playing at a higher level last season? Uh, um, I didn't see any differences because I, that was the first league that I played in. I uh, was coming from high school and I got redshirted my first year. And the first season of my collegiate level was last year. so. I mean, the differences were the normal differences of going from high school to college. And as for me, I mean, that was my first season starting. Uh, I played a couple games last year, but, I mean, it's all been – everybody's been fast, everybody's been bigger. But, I mean, it's the Southland Conference, one of the best conferences in the FCS level. So, I mean, there's going to be phenomenal athletes out there and you just got to adjust to it. Coach, uh, what's what's the progress with the the new facility that's being built there for in Abilene? The new facility, we will be in a new stadium in, in the for the 2017 season. It was the 26 season. Uh, we bumped our head on a few things along the way, and and uh, anybody that's ever built any facility of any significance knows that there's a whole lot that can uh, get you uh, tripped up and. Uh, so that has, it's taken a little bit longer, but in 2017, we'll be in an on-campus stadium. Any other questions for uh, Coach or the players? <laughs> 